All right, guys, things are getting serious. We better get serious too. Rumble pack. Let's do it. So as you just saw, things are getting pretty legit. We're using our secret weapon, the Rumble Pack, to take on Secret Agent. But also, I want to go show you kind of the stuff I've got so far, just by even playing through here on Agent Mode. Um, you saw at the end of the last one I got a secret, or I got a, a cheat code just for like even losing, which was fine because I got it at the right time, so... I figured I'd show you what the ones we have so far are, the DK... Ow! Oh. Wow. DK mode, Magnum, and Gold PP7. Gold PP7 is pretty cool. It's a PP7 that just one hit kill. It's freaking great. So, I promised secrets. <sighs> My chair the right way. I promised secrets, and here's the deal. You thought that was the last level? <laughs> that wasn't the last level. What's going on now is you got these two. You can kind of see what's going on. Oh, this one looks. Oh, they look a little pyramid y. Mmm. 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 Hmm. Mm -hmm. The idea is, this is the last level if you're on Agent, this is the last level if you're on Double O Agent, over here, and this is the last level if you're on Secret Agent. So here we go. Secret MF and Agent, and what is up with that? That's, oh, I see, it's where the crosshairs are. So now, you see they've added an extra objective. We have to neutralize the alarms. That's not too bad. We just go and shoot them. And with this rumble pack, I'll be able to feel the game, so I'll know exactly what's going on. This is the rumble pack. It's legit. I think this actually was like the first of its kind, if I remember right, because I don't remember the PlayStation having that until later when they had the DualShock, but that was... I mean, that definitely wasn't like it was the first thing that came out, and oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't used the rumble pack in years. It's still the original one, but it's not the same as like uh, the controllers you have now for vibration. This feels different. Like the Rumble Pack is dead center, where I think the Dual Shock it's more balanced. But this isn't. It's just it's not only in the center, but it's like in the back, so the weight is a little bit weird. So when when you feel it, <laughs> you actually do feel it a little bit different. It's kind of fun. And no, I don't have it on my lap, in case anybody's wondering all that. Yeah, although that does seem like a fun time. Anybody else? I, I don't know. I don't think that does anything for guys. In my... In my explore, my exploration, my exploratory years, I don't remember ever being like, oh man, I can just sit on this controller for like 10 minutes and be a happy boy. It's like, it's just kind of whatever. Anybody else get that impression? They find that? No? Is it just me? I'm sure it wasn't just me. Hey, I got a KF7. So you may have noticed it takes more than one bullet to kill all these guys now, which is going to make things a little more difficult. And I mean that exactly, literally, it's going to make it a bit more difficult. So things are going to get interesting. But like I said, we've got the rumble pack, so we are all set. Let's cruise around here. Beat the truck. Actually, I do kind of want to go on this side this time. Anybody in there? No. We're gonna kind of scoot to the right quick. I think there's. Is there somebody up top? Maybe that was the, the other tower I was thinking of. No, there is. I was right. And Bond aimed straight down. I don't know if I'm. No, I didn't say that before. What happens is, like. When you're running up and down stairs, Bond kind of like automatically dips up and down, and it's a little bit annoying, but I'm pretty used to it, I guess, now, so I'm kind of compensate, or like, I know that it's going to happen. Holy crap! They're not messing around either. We're going to need every little bit of that rumble pack to make sure things go well here. Fun fact. Because <laughs> I'm full of them. Holy crap! Alright. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. So that spot where I just came from with the shutter door, it's like, uh, there's a little shutter kind of space on the bottom as well. And I'm gonna look at something quick, nope. And so that never opens, it always seems like it should open, but it doesn't. And actually, if you go along the dam, you can go inside the dam, and if you go all the way to the end, you can go through here. I mean, you can't go through there, but you can look up at the ceiling, and you can see it there. And if things are clear, all clutter. All is clutter. Uh, 
We're gonna blow this up. So this is how you neutralize alarms. Street moves. You just blow them up because again, they're explosive like everything else. I'm gonna look at the satellite. The satellite's kinda cool. Did you know it was up there? Maybe not, because look, you have this thing going up there, right? Also, this goes down to that, that little inside area too, which I pointed out in the first episode, but you know, let's just say it again. So we gotta scoot. I could be using the sniper rifle here, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna boogie and get my ass up there. All right, I see him, I see him. He's never gonna know, cuz ninja strike. Ah, oh, he knew. He's still dead. I'm gonna second, yeah, there. So here's what I was talking about in the last episode too, is you have this dock and there's supposed to be a like a little boat and it brings you out to this. We can get over to the dock and kind of show you, but oh my gosh. <laughs> ah, all right, yeah. Hey buddy, thanks for opening that door for me and then shooting me. I really enjoyed that. Sir, excuse me, I've got things to do. I really should be probably saving the KF-7 bullets for like the people and then using the the PV-7 for like those things, but I could be using the sniper rifle for this, but that's just so long to do that. It takes so long to do that. Anybody around? No? See any better from here? You can kind of see, there's like a Gatling gun, I think, at the end. That's the turret I was talking about. I am gonna die if I'm not, like, taking this seriously, so I better take this seriously. No, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, God. So after I got done playing Cruising yes, I had that song stuck in my head for, like, I don't know how long, just that, yeah, yeah, whoa, 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 it's just, I don't know, they play it on repeat, you know, there, now I can see it, maybe I hunker down, no, what the heck, really, oh, I see, so you can see like a tower and this turret thing, and that's really all there is to it. And I thought I was squatting, but I'm not. So let's go finish this off. I'm pretty sure the alarms are only up in the guard tower. I really hope that's the case. You know what we should do? We should do it this way. We'll take this ladder. Before you ask, no, I can't walk in this water. In the reservoir here, that's just not a thing. Bond cannot swim. And Bond does... Who puts this shit here? Bond does not want to die, but who puts these explosive things? Just like, hey... People are gonna walk this way. Let's put a bunch of explosive-y things here. Like, oh, oh, okay. Oh, boy. You know what? You can come to me. Screw you. So I don't think he'll shoot through the window. I think he only has to, like, he has to have a line of sight um, from his shoes or something. I don't know, but we're good to go. So let's get the hell out of here. There's nothing at the end of the dam, either. It's just, uh... It's just a door you can't go through. I think it might be actually to the, the runway if I'm right, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Those are my feet at the bottom? What is that little black part there? I don't know. I'm not really sure. I like these just cinematic triple angles going on to like watch him bungee jump down. The main reason, so I want to go bungee jumping someday, and the main reason I want to do it is just so I can do it like he does, where he kind of stops, puts his arms out, in a jazz grass pose, and then like jumps off. He doesn't do that in the movie, in the movie, or no, he does, I think he does, he kind of takes a breath and then he jumps off, doesn't he? I'm feeling kind of hyper. I gotta keep slowing down. I gotta slow down. I just get too ahead of myself. I'm doing this stuff. There's no... There is no hurry, but I always think there is because I'm so used to muscle memory trying to speedrun this damn thing for those cheats and all that. I gotta remind myself. Just take a breath. Oh. 
sir. I'm gonna need you to pay the poop tax. What? No, grab the gun. And then shut the door. <laughs> Uh-huh, 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 and you have to die, and shut the door. Reload. And kill these guys. And kill, and kill these guys. And shut the door. <laughs> and then whip around and shoot this guy, and then what are we gonna do? We're gonna shut the door. There we go. Okay, cool. I don't know why bathroom stall doors close automatically, but I guess they do, so that's cool. If you shoot their hats off, their hats stay. It's kind of neat. <laughs> yeah, fun times, huh? Also, fun fact, if you empty, like, all of it, almost, and then go to your next weapon and come back, it's automatically reloaded. 777 for extra luck, although I think you need four sevens to make it extra lucky, right? I don't know. I'm Mr. Lucky. Oh, right, what do we have to do? Hmm. Talk, contact the double agent. So that's gonna be Dr. Dope. We gotta actually go talk to him this time. That's really the only extra thing, is just talk to Doke, and you have to, because you have to get the key to get in there. Or you have to get the door decoder, which is basically the key. You have to do that. And we did it last time anyway. Oh, right. Always oh, doing the invincible move. And then we're going to shut the door. And then we're going to shut the door. No? All right. I genuinely thought somebody else was going to come through here. No? Eh? Well, I do know there's somebody here. And now there's not. And also there's a clearance B key card, which is the best key card. So, good. I'm glad that we got that. I feel better about things. <laughs> I feel so much better now. Hello? Nope. Alright, okay, well... Fine. Why do I... Why are my spidey senses tingling here? I don't know. Nope, I have no idea. I thought there was somebody else here, so we're just gonna book it over here. But I do know there's some people in here. His body's just like... I see nothing wrong. Whoa! Whoa! And then we're gonna... Nope, nope, nope. We were gonna shut the door, but now we're not. Now we're gonna open the door. We gotta go interview these friggin' scientist dudes. Yeah. That guy looks like the dude who's... What's his name? The King of Staten Island. I can't remember what his name is. He's on SNL. Got the same eyes. Same gigantic bags under his eyes or whatever. I got those too, though. This is not Dr. Doak. Where are you, Dr. Doak? What's this guy again? He's like, ah, too much coffee. I don't know. And we're moving, we're moving. Oh boy. And then we're gonna shut the door. We're gonna kill the, we're gonna kill all these guys. We're gonna shut the door. Oh my God. <laughs> I think there's somebody behind me on my right, too. Oh my gosh! And then what are we gonna do? Say it with me. Shut the door. Not that door. Why do they not like us again? Oh, right. No secret agents. <sighs> Alright. I, you know, I... I can take a little bit of that, I guess. So now we gotta run over to that side quick. I don't know if you need to do that still on this one or not, but we're gonna... So now we're gonna close that door, and we're gonna open this door. Are there bad dudes in here? I think it's just the scientists, right? 
Maybe not. No, you, none of you are the Doak. <laughs> Had a friend in high school who called her best friend Dozwack. That's kind of funny. It's not her name, but it sounded like her real name, but it's, it's not. Like, what's up, Dozwack? <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me, but it definitely is. It's like, yo, that is Dozwack. It's like something like a snowboarder would say. Speaking of, non-game related, my goal every s summer, I remember it in the summer, every winter is to go try and learn how to snowboard because I freaking love snowboarding. I love the idea of it. I think it looks really fun. The people all seem really cool. Um, and the only reason I really want to do is because I played the hell out of Cool Borders 2, which I should do a Let's Play for that. Because I really, really, really like uh, Cool Borders 2. Which is an interesting choice, you might say, if you've ever played the game. Because the controls are not very good for doing tricks, and these people cannot tell if they're coming or going. All I want to do is shut this damn door. This is my mission in life. Just shut the door. Hi. Oh. Anyway, I played the absolute living hell of Cool Warriors 2 back in the day. I really, really liked that game. And so if you just pick it up and play it now, it was on the PlayStation Classic, but that's like the PAL version. And if you play it, you gotta have the North American version because the music is just, I think, so much better. I love the music in the North American version. But the controls for the, the tricks and all that are just really bad. Like, if you pick that up now, that's what I was gonna say. Put the game up now and try and just expect it to be really good. Like that you can just do, oh, I'll do like a front flip 3000 Misty or something. Like you're not gonna do it. Because you just have to kind of know. Hey, here he is. Yes, thank you. But to me, it's just, I just really like that game because that was one of the first games on the PlayStation that I really, really got into before I even got a PlayStation. Um, this girl that my dad was dating at the time, her son had it, and I was like, that guy was insane, but like it was one of the things that we actually could agree on was that that game was cool. And uh, oh yeah, he almost legitimately tried to choke me because I beat his high score. So that's the thing, he, he actually has like got some issues going on. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he was like, he had me on the couch like strangling me like Bart Simpson style or Homer Simpson style. And his buddy was just like, hey, you know, maybe, maybe let up, maybe like don't actually kill him. This isn't funny anymore. And it's because, uh, <laughs> yeah, I actually beat his high score on Big Air. It was funny. I thought it was funny. I was like, ha ha ha. Oh God, he's not joking. Maybe he was joking. I don't know. But uh, it didn't seem like it. He seemed pretty pissed. <laughs> Cause I came over and beat it in like a couple hours or something. I don't know. Regardless, I absolutely love Cool Borders too, and I really want to learn snowboarding. And I bought a snowboard, right? I got my dad to buy me a snowboard, a really cheap one, like one of those $60 ones, or no, it was $80, I think, actually, from Fleet Farm, I think, back in the day. And it was cool, but like, it wasn't super, super cheap, but it wasn't very good, and like the bindings were falling apart, and I think I used it like twice. It was kind of neat. Oh, wait. What else do we have to do? Is that it? Just leave now. Let's leave the, uh, let's leave this way this time. By the way, when you leave, the next level will actually show you coming in, or you'll start at the place where you left this one at, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so anyway, I'm on a snowboard. This is, I just keep getting freaking sidetracked with any story I ever tell, and that's the way it's gonna be, so... If you want more of that, stick around for another episode of this and that. Alright.